Uh, Baylor 20, Kansas State 10. Uh, Baylor 100% postgame win expectancy. Was there anything out of this one that, I mean, it, it looks boring. That 100% postgame win expectancy is super weird to me because basically what happened is Baylor, Kansas State missed field goal, and then Baylor got a muffed punt at yep. the beginning of the game and they scored a short field touchdown. Otherwise, this was like a slugfest. And so this this that's interesting, that postgame win expectancy. And again, everybody has their own flavor or whatever. But to me, this feels way more like a toss-up because it was effectively decided by, I mean, equal number of scoring opportunities, equal number of um, defense, and then a punt return, a muffed punt return was the deciding factor there. And that seems super random. So again, Baylor all season, been well coached and, and you know, bounces go uh, their way a ton and, and uh, lucky and good are highly correlated in college football. So um, good on them for taking advantage. Um, the only other thought I have is, Gary Bohannon went down with a non-contact injury with a hamstring. I hope yeah. he's okay. That looked real uncomfortable. The kid um, that brought just him. Just because, again, I, yeah. what, what, uh, Blake, uh, Blake Shapin, I, I, yeah. I hope that's how you say it. Uh, 16 out of 21, 137 yards. Like, they were they were still successful with him in the ballgame. Jeff Grimes knows how to maximize quarterback six strengths, man. Like, just he just knows how to set a quarterback up for success. It's It's been very impressive. Yeah. It, this, was, uh, this was interesting. Very interesting. Deuce Vaughn, by the way, 11 carries, 128 yards, one touchdown. Like averaged eleven point six clip, but all of that, Gary. If you take out that one, I think he had one seventy five yard touchdown, maybe uh, sixty five yard. Yeah, sixty five. And so you go beside that, then man, his his day looked real bad. That Baylor was very frustrating to him outside of that one long run. And so I mean, you, you take that one long run, but he had eleven carries, and you take out the long run, he still had. I mean, that's still over what, almost seven yards a carry. Like, did he have another a couple of long runs? Maybe maybe there was another long run. I, I just remember, maybe, maybe it's just the first half, but I, I, I just was thinking, I mean, he, he had, what, 100, 100 total yards? He had 128 on 11 carries. 128, and so 60, and then so 60 on 10, I guess, outside of that is not, is not awful. But yeah, I mean, they, they just couldn't get him going, really, yeah. except for a couple concentrated plays. Well, I mean, yeah. they, they only ran him 11 times. They, they ran the ball 21 times in, in, in what really was kind of a slugfest. Uh, Baylor ran 48 times for 174. I could not understand. Like, they they were throwing – they threw the ball a lot. And and I understand why they were doing that because if you look up the uh, the advanced stats and whatnot, the weakness of this Baylor defense really was the secondary, right? They were – teams have been able to have success throwing the football on them. Yeah. But it did not look like Skylar Thompson was able to have success. I mean, he was 15 out of 29 for 158 yards. So, yeah, yeah. I, I'm – I thought Kansas State. I actually picked them in like our winning cures everything pick them on uh, on Friday show because I thought Baylor hangover. Kansas State's been playing really really well. Skylar Thompson's been throwing the ball well. That looks like a mismatch against that secondary, and it did not play out to fruition at all, at all. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.